So today we're discussing signal flow, and signal flow is how sound travels from the, the beginning to the end of its audio path, and it's a cornerstone of audio engineering. You have to understand signal flow to really be able to understand a patch bay and to be able to troubleshoot during a recording session, which there's always a lot of troubleshooting. So three things to keep in mind when you're, when you're working with signal flow and recording are mic, line, and speaker. So these three levels of power correspond with different points in that audio path. When we record something, we start with by plugging in the mic. So that's the first part of the signal path. We have a mic and we turn it up to the next level of power, which is known as line level. And at line level, this is what we listen to in our DAW. We store everything in our DAW at line level, and this is usually where we're moving stuff around at this particular level. So from line level, we then want to monitor the sound and hear it. We have to then boost it to the next level of power known as speaker. Hello, check. Hello, check, check, check. So the three levels of power that we're dealing with with signal flow are mic, line, and speaker. And those are synonymous with capturing the sound, storing the sound, and monitoring the sound. So there you have it, signal flow broken down, hopefully a little bit easier for you. Just remember when you're recording, you are doing mic, line, and speaker. Once you record, you no longer need those points between mic and line because you store everything at line level. So when you're mixing and working with audio later, you only have those points between line and speaker where you can interrupt that signal. If you're having a hard time understanding it, picture a photographer. It's very similar. They capture, store, and monitor the image. They capture the image with the camera. They store it on an SD card or a, the actual film, and then they look at it. It's the same thing with audio. We capture the sound with the microphone. We store it in our DAW, and then we listen to it through our speakers.